Hey guys, welcome to part 43. If you have not yet subscribed to so it will help you with Azure, Google Cloud and AWS Cloud certifications. So this is what we have to do. You have this storage, okay? Here you can store any files and etc. Now if this goes bad, like a failure happens, so you should be able to sustain that. That means somewhere there should be a clone of this. Some cloning has to be done or replication has to be done. Okay. And uh, it has to be in a different location. Different hardware, different location, different data center. So that if, see, they are saying here, if data center fails, that means we should replicate in a different data center. How do we get different data center? Uh, by having multiple zones. Zones have different data centers, so multiple zones. That means we will have zone redundant storage. This is zone one zone 2 zone redundant means duplicate zone so this is a duplicate zone so if this guy fails this guy says hey i am still there for you a they are not talking about different country so why will we use this geo redundant nobody is telling they want something global Okay, and locally redundant means within the same hardware or same data center you are putting. So same data center if you put duplicate storage no use because if this data center fails both will go down. And geo and zone both redundant. See, global we don't require anything right now so anything with geo we will not use because the question is not telling us anything about global uh, storage okay so here we have a bit of explanation so it says uh, you get high durability and high availability so one question uh, will the synchronization happen synchronously or asynchronously in this case it is asynchronous asynchronous means i give you two rupees you immediately send that two rupees to your brother that is synchronous asynchronous means i give you two rupees now after five minutes i give you 10 rupees after 15 minutes I give you 30 rupees so together you are sending 42 rupees to the brother that is asynchronous asynchronous and data will be highly available in the event of failure no? immediately you can get there is no uh, recovery time as to okay if data center went down it will take 10 minutes for this to be up it does not happen that way So option D, zone redundant storage is our answer. See, in this case, you have a data center and you have data lake storage. So this is your primary and this is your secondary data stage. Uh, sorry, data lake storage. Okay. So. And this guy goes down so uh, this guy should be up for what only for read or only for read operation okay that is what we want only for read so what should we do we should use something which is minimizing cost in cloud 
you have to do everything to minimize cost think about about it like your father is running the household you would want to save every penny for your father see local is not good here because if data center fails everything will fail so you cannot have primary and secondary in local redundant because it will save it in the same data center okay zone will give you read and write both but you want only read here you see it should be available for read workloads like like what like what like your reporting application like tableau or google looker so they only read data they don't write the data they don't fire insert update delete commands to the database write and read read means firing select queries s q l queries that is read even geo redundant will offer both read and write so our final answer is option b read access geo redundant storage so here you have uh, two storage accounts like s1 and s2 and you are supposed to store files which files uh, pair k files the major uh, high volume data loads we no, do not use csv we use pair k format files this one so you want to copy this file from s1 to s2 using data factory data factory is the etl process or etl service provided by azure etl means a tool to move data and while moving data it will also transform data so you in this case they are clearly telling do not transform just do a like for a like copy if you have a apple here don't make it an orange there it is a apple to apple copy folder structure should not change and copy should be fast this explains copy activity in azure factory and synapse it applies to both you will see here uh, as your documentation is so good it clearly tells you which feature which service will use it it clearly tells you that here you see it tells you that see copy you can copy activity you can use it to copy data after copying data you can transform apply some rules see when you are copying we should use parquet files because it is columnar file and so first thing is it is columnar the other thing is it is compressed okay so copy becomes fast because the file size becomes small that is one then copy behavior we have to preserve the hierarchy why because this is a very simple question it clearly says original folder structure must be retained that means you have to preserve the hierarchy so this is our final answer we will use source data set type as parquet and copy activity behavior as preserve hierarchy
So in this question, you have uh, a Azure Synapse Analytics database, and it is on a server one. You would need to determine the size of transaction log file for each distribution. So this is the server. This is server one, and you have a database DW1 here. Okay, and then you need to check the transaction log file. So for that, you need to take it from this management view. This search result does not work because it is used to monitor or like used to retrieve search results, search query performance in Azure Monitor Analytics. Here we are not talking about Azure Monitor Analytics, we are talking about Synapse. So if you have not yet subscribed, do so. You can go through Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud certifications content on this channel. A lot of videos, 900 plus videos. This brings us to the end of part 43. See you in the next part.